Hey, good evening everyone. It's Steve here. Today is Friday, June 24th, 2016. I hope you guys are have doing uh, doing well and had a good week uh, as we go into the weekend here. Uh, this is the last weekend of the month. Um, got mostly Hot Wheels and some green light stuff to share with you. A couple of M2s and some Johnny Lightings. So we'll go get started. Um, lots of cool stuff. Um, I guess we'll start with Hot Wheels. Um, so we'll start with this first one. We have here a, um, I actually found this at Toys R Us uh, last week. And this is, of course, the L Case Super Treasure Hunt. It is the boom box. Um, there's, if you look, if you, if you check out the, a lot of the Facebook pages and the groups, the, this particular one is a kind of a love or hate relationship. Uh, it is one of the art cars, as you can, as you can see. Um, boom box is, I guess, a, I guess technically a fantasy car, and uh, and it is a super treasure hunt. So I like it. Um, I think it looks a lot better than uh, in person than it does in some of the pictures. Uh, nice dark blue. Almost looks black on the video, and of course it's got the wheel riders. Front front uh, rim is yellow, and the rear is red. Now, maybe somebody, can, if you can comment or confirm, comment below. But it's my understanding that if you put all the R cars together, it's supposed to spell something. I'm assuming maybe it spells R cars or something like that. But as you can see here, the boombox is a A. Also, um, if you saw my last video, I found a regular mainline of this, but with, it was an error and it had no window on it. So, there you go. Alright. Alright. Um, some mainline stuff. I uh, found a couple of the, more of these bad baggers. Uh, this is the um, K case. I'm sorry, it's either J or K case. Um, regular treasure hunt. Found a couple of these in the grocery store. This is uh, because of that these are international cards, as you can see there. But there's some bad baggers. Um, cards aren't in the best of condition, so I'll sell those at. Uh, a buck a piece at my uh, club meet. Um, along with the L case, uh, super treasure hunt are the regular treasure hunts, of course. And the L case regular treasure hunt is the night burner, um, another fantasy car. It's actually not too bad. I like the red. The red is really nice on this. Really deep red, and of course there's the um, T hunt logo there. You can see it on the wing. And it's got the wheels there. Um, kind of almost like the FTE wheel style. So there you go. That's the regular treasure hunt for L case. We found three of these today. Two at Walmart and one at Toys R Us. Um, found a couple more of the Yo's. The Beatles Yellow Submarine. Um, the, I, I don't know what's going on with these. You know, they, when they first were introduced and they started appearing, trickling in one at a time, people were trying to sell these at like almost forty to eighty dollars a pop. Um, now that they started hitting hitting Walmart and hitting um, uh, Toys R Us and things like that, then they may have come down about twenty dollars a piece. But in my mind, uh, they're a dollar piece. Um, they're a dollar card. It's a main line. It's nothing special. Um, although, I don't know, they may be one or maybe two a case, but it's my understanding that, uh, this is actually going to be carried over, um, across three cases, three case codes. So I'm going to assume that means L, um, L, L, M, and N case. So if you really want one of these, be patient or wait for the price to come down. Don't spend, don't spend 20 bucks on it, please. Um. It's a cool car. I, I got them because I'm a big Beatles fan and I got the Beatles cars I shared with you last time. So, um, got two of them. One of them is, of course, the U.S. card and the other one is the international card again. Uh, this one I found at the grocery store and this one I found at Toys R Us. L case is now just appearing in Toys R Us. So, keep a lookout for that along with the boombox and the um, night burner treasure hunts. Okay? Uh, another one in the L case uh, is this piece here. It's a nice one, a custom '77 Dodge van. Also, an, I guess it's also an art car, and I'm guessing that's an S there. So let's go ahead and take this bad boy out. 
show it to you. Turntable here. There you go. Again, pretty nice uh, art car. It's always been a popular mainline van. Okay. So there's the custom van. Right. Okay. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, I'll come back to those in a minute. So, Hot Wheels. Let's talk about Xamix. Um, so, also in L case, and certain L case uh, shippers at Walmart, we are seeing the brand new Xamix. And so, let's look at those. The three, the next three Xamix, which I believe this is the fourth release. Um, we have here, we have the BMW 2002. Very cool piece. It's got the blue window, tinted window. Always a good uh, car to do wheel swaps based on, um, or even base swaps based on the, um, the Real Riders edition. So there you go. Very nice piece. It's always been one of my favorite little castings. As you can see there, it's got the blue tinted windows. Okay, it's got some of the blue tampos there in the roof. And in the back. Okay. Um, next one here is the 69 Dodge Charger 500. It's the card. There you go. Alright, so there's the, that one there. Okay, and the last um, last Amic in this release is uh, probably one of the, uh, another favorite is the Ford GT, of course. Very cool casting, looks really good. Um, and not just that, it's the golf racing one. One of my favorite uh, decos. I have a lot, a lot of golf racing pieces. Maybe I'll, maybe one day I'll actually do a golf racing um, video. But there you go. Alright, here's the side. It's the golf racing blue on the bottom there, the Ford GT LM. Okay, so those are the next three Xamex. Again, I believe, if, don't, don't take my word for it, but I'm pretty sure it's the fourth Xamex release of this year. Okay, alright, moving on. Next uh, series I want to show you, just found these at Walmart yesterday. I don't think, in my area at least, I don't think they're um, in any other stores yet, but we're talking about the new, um, the new Superman vs. Spider-Man, um, excuse me, Superman vs. Batman, um, pop culture. So these are pretty cool. Six piece set, of course. First we have the quick delivery. As you see in the top side there is Batman and Robin. So open that up, that one up here. I actually kind of like this casting myself. Some people don't. I think it's got a lot of, um, definitely has a lot of uh, real estate to put tamples on there. Okay. All right, there's that one. Then I can save the last, the best two for the last. So next we got a 71 Chevy El Camino. Superman. Okay. It's got the red lines there on the real riders. There's the hood there with the Superman logo. The Superman on the side there, and it's a little bit different logo on the uh, picture on the other side. That's one thing I do like about the um, the pop culture is um, very rarely will they use the same tampo on both sides, particularly in these character pieces. Well, they're all character pieces, but as you can see. Okay. Um, the next one we have is the 34 Dodge Delivery Bus. Batman. Okay. Okay. 
Not a big fan of this casting, but again, has a lot of real estate on the side there. Then we got Batman on that side. And different tempo on that one. Okay. Nothing else. All right. Next one we have Superman Customs 52 Chevy. This is a very popular costume. I didn't, I'm surprised. I don't know why. Um, maybe a lot of a lot of customizers like it. I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of this one either. But it is used in a lot of the pop culture pieces. So we got Superman picture there. And that one's a little bit nicer, a little bit darker, cleaner, versus the other one being a little bit more faded. It's a, that's actually a good picture there. Got the Superman uh, logo in the back. Yeah. All right, last two pieces. Um, this is the one everyone's probably going to want. One of these two is going to be the one that everyone's going to want. Of course, the VW T1 panel. Superman. Huh. Just notice all three uh, Superman pieces have red line real riders on them. Here's the side there. Can't tell, but it looks like he's holding a gun of some sort. It's hard to tell in the picture. And then there's like a kind of a silhouette with the city in the backdrop. Okay, and then there's the roof. Pretty much it, All right? And the last piece, probably my favorite, is of course the Batman 80 Dodge Macho Power Wagon. Haven't seen this one in the really in the uh, pop culture series for a while. So, this is Batman. This is a really nice piece. The plastic, yeah, it's plastic on the front. This the side. Okay, so that is the latest Batman versus Superman or Superman versus Batman, however you want to put it. Pop culture. All right, moving on. A few more pieces here. Uh, picked these up at Toys R Us this morning as well. This is some must be a new uh, Matchbox Shark Week Discovery, Discovery Shark Week series. There's actually uh, five cards in the series: um, Rescue Waver, Deep Diver. Um, Chevy Corvette ZR1, Toyota Tacoma, and the International Scout 4x4. Uh, the only tool I was interested in is this one here. We got the Chevy Corvette ZR1. Pretty cool. And the other one is the Toyota Tacoma. Same casting, just got the Shark Week uh, deco there. A little bit different color. It's uh, fluorescent yellow, if you can tell by the video. It's got the surfboard in the back. So there you go. Some new stuff. Toys R Us. I like the card. Kind of cool how they did that. Alright, moving on. Green light. Uh, got some green machines here. Um, first one here is Country Roads Series 14 2015 Ford F-150 XL green machine. It is numbered uh, 124. I actually purchased this one from uh, Kevin on one of the pages. So thank you Kevin. Right. Next one, uh, I got this one off of eBay, a really, really, really good price. This is, of course, the Hollywood Hollywood Series 12 uh, from the movie Clueless. It's a 94 Jeep Wrangler uh, YJ Green Machine. And this is numbered pretty high. Uh, I can't really tell. It's in the 5,000s, I think. But there you go. Got that good for a good price. Uh, this one I actually found at Toys R Us last week, so I found this one in the wild. Country Roads Series 14 as well, 76 Ford Bronco Explorer. And this one is number 248, looks like. Not the best looking green machine, or at least not the best looking com green machine combination, orange. But in my books, you know, in my, um, 
Yeah, in my in my opinion, a greenie is a greenie, and I like greenies, green machines. And I didn't have this one, so I'll add that to the collection. Right. The last greenie I have, which is a very special one. Um, so I have probably over a hundred plus green machines. I found this one today at Toys R Us just by luck. So that's cool. It is the GL Muscle uh, Series 15 2012 Ford Shelby GT500. Now most of you may think, well, it's a green machine, okay, and you know nothing pretty pretty fancy about this. But the thing that makes this particularly special is um, when I bought this, I bought it and I had it in my bag at work, and I just sat there for about three three hours. Then I decided to, I had a break and decided to look at the bottom and see what number it is. <clears throat> and I know you can't really see it very well, but you've got to take my word for it. This is actually number 0001. So this is number one uh, numbered um, as a green machine. So, and of all the green machines that I have, uh, this is my first one that I have, 0001. I think the only, the next lowest number I have on a green machine I don't remember what it is. I think it's a number five, um, and I also have a number thirteen. So I thought this was pretty cool to find a uh, number one. So that's uh, pretty cool in my books. So uh, be keeping that one. Okay. Jump to M2 real quick. Um, nothing special, as you, some of you who collect M2s knows. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, Walmart released a Walmart exclusive. I guess they call it the Patriotic series M2s. Uh, this is uh, a 69 Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi, and these are just the main lines. So very cool pieces. They got the flag on the top, all black, numbered. Uh, very nice piece. Of course, the Walmart exclusive um, logo there. So there you go. This one I bought for myself, and the next one here I bought for my buddy Sabir up in Canada. Um, this is uh, from the same line, of course, the Patriot series. Got the flag on top there again. Oh, glory. A uh, very nice piece. This is the 1970 Dodge F Ford. Uh, excuse me. The 1970 Ford F100 Custom 4x4. There you go. Very nice truck. Okay. It's got the hood, opening hood. Um, it looks like it's got the opening doors. Very nice piece. The Walmart pieces, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I like a lot of them too, but uh, the Walmart exclusive pieces, are, I think, are pretty nice. The... The chases on these are very nice, but, you know, because there are chases, very hard to find. Alright, wrapping up. Um, this particular piece I found at Target, I don't really, te I typically don't collect my still, only because, um, you know, it's one more thing that I don't want to collect, but one thing I do collect is uh, um, the German Pol Polizei um, Deco vehicles, and this one I found couple days ago at Target. It's a Volkswagen Van Samba. And as you can see, it's got the police, police side deco on there. Not a big fan of those wheels, but nevertheless, it's pretty cool. i got to decide if I'm going to open that. We'll see. But that's the uh, Maestro Design Authority. Okay. The last two pieces. Uh, this one I picked up for a club member, Bill. This is a Giant Lightning. Found this at Toys R Us. It's a Monopoly series. Uh, uh, Miata. And it's got the little, um, the little mo Monopoly play piece. That's kind of cool. All right. So as you can see, it's from the 1994 Plain Mantis Volt. So I picked that up for Bill. And then I, the last piece I want to share with you is this one here. Um, this is the Johnny Lightning, the Challengers. I guess this series is called. It's the moving van. And as you can see here on the token here it says moving van a bonus um, I did confirm that this is in fact a white lightning and not only is it a white lightning but it is my very first white line what white lightning that I've ever found in the in the in the uh, wild so very excited that uh, um, I was able to finally find this the one white lightning that I've been hunting for I expected I assumed I and expected to find one of the newer white lightnings but um, uh, and not one of the older ones, but nevertheless, here it is. So, very cool. I have two white lightnings. The, the other one was a, through a trade. So, uh, again, this is my very first white lightning find. Okay. So, very cool. All right. Well, um, that's all I have, guys. Um, 
So yeah, I think the next time I'll talk to you will probably will probably be just uh, the weekend after Fourth of July, um, which is go- also going to be our next club monthly club meet. So hopefully by then I'll be able to share with you some some more stuff. Um, until then, um, you know, check out your WalMarts and your Targets. Our case is out there. Xamax are out there. So until then, happy hunting, and maybe you'll even find the new Superman versus Batman uh, pop culture. Um, But until then, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.